ASV 1985, unit number 47. ASV for all season vehicle. Got some 1022, 22, 10, 5, 12 inch rims, 9 inch, half inch wide. It has a hydraulic steering pump and a ram in there. And then the tie rod here has got this little rod here that comes in and then that actuates the side controls for the tracks when the front wheels turn. What happens is these little rods here will rotate either way you're turning to speed up or slow down the track with the tires that are turning and it has the Auxiliary hookups with electric. It had the electric motor to raise the cab, but the gear was blown out on it. It has two manual auxiliary hydraulics here. Got your parking brake, your throttle. And then it has a it's gas, so it has this little governor. Hold the engine at the same RPM, you set it. It's a new alternator. It's got about 800 hours on it. Gonna have to put a new radiator in it and some hoses. And I've got tracks coming for it. So we have a pump here that runs just the fan. And then the back half of this unit here runs the right track. And that side there runs the left track. And here's the actuator control right here. Go forward and reverse on that one. And the same with this unit here. And it has a Jeep 2.5 liter. Mounted choke on the curb. Got tracks on the way. 10 inch bogies. It's got the alternator. Same way. Track drives. And there's this little rim that steers the front end. It's driven off of the steering box is actually a hydraulic pump. So if you don't have power, you can still turn the wheel. It has a little parking brake. There's another look at the control there and the little rod that actuates the controls for left and right to speed up and slow down the tracks when turning. And we got auxiliary hydraulics in front, two on this side, one on this side, and they're all electric. So they have the electric switches and solenoids on those right there. There's the other one back over in that corner. We just wrapped all the wiring, kind of checking everything out on it. So Purrs like a kitten, but I need to close up the dog house first. But it's an interesting little rig. You won't find these around much. The glass has gone in the cab, but I'll get that later. Uh, seats are kind of crappy. It's got four instruments on the dash. So you got your tachometer, and speedometer, water, oil temp, water temp, fuel, so, and it's got auxiliary headlight switch over there, and there's your oil pressure, so, and fuel gauge, I guess it had a stereo on it at one time, there's a look at the controls from the top, so you can see how that'll rock. And this goes forward and back for reverse and forward. And then this is your throttle. So, pretty sweet little unit. And it's uh, basically the same hydraulics in a Cat 277 skid steer. Not the A or the B model, but straight 277. This is the same tracks. And a lot of the ASV uh, skid steer 2800. Pause the track in the 2810.
Nozzle head that, so there it is.